Hey guys, good to be back with you. Today we're going to be doing an instructional video on how to replace the laptop screen on the HP Compact Pavilion 15CS0053CL. It's going to be a laptop computer. So, I broke this screen, i say about six months ago. I threw my phone into the screen and it uh, broke on impact, obviously. Here it is, I don't know if you can see the cracks, but it's pretty damaged. So I went about, I ordered a new screen on laptopscreen.com, which I highly recommend. It was the only place I could find my screen on. <clears throat> Pretty good price. Came in about three days after I got it. Here it is. Very nice and new. So I received it a couple days ago and just wanted to show you guys how to replace this screen. And so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what you're going to want to start by doing is you're going to want to plug in your computer and you're going to want to plug it in, but don't turn it on yet. Just plug it in. Don't push the power button yet. Just leave it there. And you're going to take the screen. Be very careful with it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take some cushion or something. This is a bubble wrap that I received with the package. You're going to want to lay it down so it doesn't damage the screen. Now, here's when it gets a little bit smaller. It's going to might be a hard, time, hard, uh, hard view for you, but basically you're going to see there's a little... See this? It's a little connector that gonna it's gonna connect from the screen, from the computer to this laptop screen. And now this laptop screen has this connecting piece. So we're gonna put these two together. So this usually has from the laptop. There's a piece of tape on the connecting piece. So we're gonna just pretty much grab this, and it's just gonna slide in, nice and easy. So you're just gonna kind of lift it. Um, Slide it in. Not really much technique to this. Just be careful. You don't want to break it. It's very delicate. You're gonna... so we've got it connected. Let's see if I can turn this light on. It might help. Now we've got the connected this pieces on here. We're going to just pretty much lift the screen up. I'm not going to put it in place yet. We're just going to turn the computer on. This is just a test to see if it works. Let's see if we're gonna have a go and see if the screen works. All right, so there we go, that's a good sign. All right, so from this point on, what we're just gonna do is we're gonna put the screen, there is already a place for the screen on the laptop backing. So it just kind of just fits in nice and easy. Now, I'm gonna turn my computer back off. All right. So what we're going to do is lay the computer on its back like this. And now what you're going to want to do is there's going to be a little bit of space on the top of the screen, about right here, where you is going to be the screen and the top of the laptop. And if you don't close this gap, it'll show if you, when you put the cover on the screen. So we just did that. It should be good. So now we get to the tricky part. So applying this piece on top. Now this is difficult for many reasons. One of them is just hard to get this lower portion. It's like a U. Hard to get that portion into the computer. So I'm going to set the computer back straight up and down. And I'm going to start working on this. It's kind of just the bottom part slides just kind of right in just like that. Slide the bottom right in. And it just clips in. There's little clips on the back of this. Just gonna kind of clip together. So this is just difficult. Just keep working at it. All right. So now we've got the screen on. I'm sorry. The screen is on, and now we have the 
the bezel loaded up and it's ready to go. The screen looks amazing. So we see in its final state how we're looking. And just wanted to quickly add that a lot of people like to put on the back of their screens, they like to put a little layer of uh, tape to keep the screen connected to the laptop. And that's probably how you found it when you replaced the screen, when you took off the old screen. That was probably one of the difficulties you had to overcome. I didn't think that was necessary. I didn't add any tape. I'm not gonna be throwing this computer around. So, I mean, it should be fine if you just place it on there, have this bezel here, take good care of it. You know, it's a, it's a nice computer, it's expensive, so definitely worth the repairs. So as it just boots up, super excited. Waiting a long time for this. And if you guys have any questions, just comment below. Uh, and just for more information, I did buy the screen from laptopscreen.com. <clears throat> they have free shipping and free returns within 90 days. And they ship pretty much anywhere, and it's very fast. And so definitely recommend them. Only place I could find this screen. All right, so all right, I guess I'm piecing out. See you guys later.